was the play of the game. Second quarter of action. Irving at this point was leading by a score of 20 to 13. And Franklin with the big night. Five touchdowns tonight. Right up the middle. He goes 52 yards for the score. And Irving wins it 42 to 25. Big, big night. We'll show you all the highlights. As let's go down to the field right now where Bob Berry has the head coach, Aaron De La Torre. Bob? This is something that you work very hard for, obviously. Your thoughts about getting in the playoffs? You know, I'm just happy for our uh, community. You know, one way or another, an Irving team was getting in for that fourth slot. It came down that way last year. Um, you know, hats off to MacArthur. They played great football tonight. You know, they're down there starting quarterback. But, you know, it's just like the town. We're t full of blue-collar people, and, and they played a heck of a game. You know, our kids played a great game tonight. I thought you did something that was really very nice. It speaks well for you. When the game was over, you went over and talked to Austin Logan, their quarterback who was out and was in a wheelchair. What'd you tell him? I just told him keep his head up. You know, I, I've had my ACL torn. I, I've played a whole season with the torn ACL. It's not fun. It hurts. Uh, it, it's excruciating pain. And I know the kid went out and tried. And I have total respect for people that try to play when they're hurt. Um, you know, also, you know, he's still a junior. He's got another year to come back and to come back strong. I told him take it easy on us next year, too. What do you do now for this week preparing for the Cowboys? You know, they're one of the best teams in the state, one of the best one in the nation. The great thing is it's a new season. Um, you know, high school playoffs are kind of funny. Anything can happen. We just need to come out and play a great game and execute. Talk about a great game. Franklin ran for yeah. 300 yards. We, we said it in the, uh, believe it or not, we were talking about it, and uh, me and Coach Allen, I said, boy, it'd be nice for him to finally pop 300 yards. Uh, he's had the capability all year, and I'm just very proud and happy for him because he's so durable. He's a little video guy, and, and you would never think he's as strong as he is and as fast as he is. I'm just very proud of him. Everything that he's been able to overcome and, and to come back from. He had a serious injury this past summer in a car wreck, and uh, it didn't keep him from playing. And uh, I'm proud of him for coming out and, and representing well. Thank you very much for your time, Coach, and congratulations. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay, now let's go back to Lance Brown. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Bob. Uh, obviously a happy man, as well he should be. His team played very well. They are in the playoffs. They have a winning record this year, and that's uh, something they haven't had for a while. So congratulations to the Tigers. Let's uh, see sh some of the second-half highlights to show you here is Henderson. You know, the Cardinals kept bouncing back. Henderson had a nice night with 80 yards rushing for a touchdown there. But then Garcia rolls out, runs in 16 yards to put the Tigers up by two touchdowns at that point. Then after a field goal, here's a great play as Harding throws to Webster. This is really an outstanding play by Webster. That cut it to 10 points, but then Franklin scores two more touchdowns. And that's all she wrote. The Tigers come away big winners tonight. And you know, Franklin gets a lot of credit, and he's had a great night. But the offensive line for Irving did a marvelous job tonight because uh, Garcia had a heck of a lot of, to do with that, too, in terms of his rushing. They rushed for 419 yards, and they haven't had that in quite a long time. Uh, 478 yards overall. Uh, the Tigers really dominate this football game. Uh, actually, we've got things kind of turned around, but nevertheless, uh, you know what happened. Tigers win it, 42-35, to 35, and Jim Bennett gets the game ball. a boy, Jim. <laughs> so congratulations to the Tigers. They are in the playoffs for the first time in a long time, and we'll have you next week right here on ICTN when the Tigers play the Coppell Cowboys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. For my broadcast partner, Bob Berry, and our entire crew led by our producer and director, Scott Snyder, my name's Lance Brown. We thank you so much for watching, and good night from Irving School Stadium.
Game of the Week has been brought to you in part by Gerald Stavely Dry Cleaning. Irving Game of the Week is brought to you in part by Gerald Stavely Dry Cleaning. Irving School Stadium, it's the game of the week on ICTN. Tonight it's the end of the regular season as the MacArthur Cardinals take on the Irving Tigers. A playoff spot is on the line. And good evening, everyone. I'm Lance Brown. Bob Berry will be along in just a bit. So glad to have you along for this contest. Should be a fun one to watch. It is going to be a beautiful night for football. Temperatures right now about 60 degrees. The wind is coming out of the south at about, I think, about 10 miles an hour right now. It's gusted a little bit. But it's just going to be a fabulous night to watch a football game or just about anything else. You know, it was once Bill Parcells who said, you are what your record says you are. And if you look at the three Irving schools, well, quite honestly, they're just mediocre this season. But last night here at Irving School Stadium, we had a dandy football game. D'Angelo Allen taking the opening kickoff five yards deep in his own end zone, breaks up the right side, goes 105 yards for the score. He had four touchdowns on the night. And Nimitz goes on to win this ball game by a score of 44 to 29. So they're still in the playoff line. Here right now is what the records are. Trinity. Uh, of course, the class of the district. By the way, they beat Turner last night. Bell and Heritage will play tonight for second place, and, well, their records tell me they're pretty darn good. So that leaves us right now, Irving in fourth place. If the Tigers win, they are in the playoffs. If Mack wins tonight, Nimitz will be playing next week by virtue of the fact that they beat Mack, and it would be a three-way tie. It has been an improvement for Tigers coach Aaron De La Torre finishing up his second year as the top Tiger. Irving 2-1 and one in non-district. They scored a very important win over the Vikings, the first district game of the season. Since then, they've beaten Grapevine and Turner. Couldn't do much with the top three teams in the district, but then again, none of the other bottom ones did. For the Mid-City Kitties to get in the playoffs, they have to stop the Mac ground game, and the guy who's been good at that all season long is Irving linebacker Morris Shell, who has been a very solid performer, as well as a key contributor on offense, playing running back. For the Cardinals, it's been a disappointing season. One and two in non-district. Like Irving and Nimitz, they were squished by the big three, but they defeated the bottom two, scoring a narrow win over Grapevine last week. However, that loss to Nimitz, that is keeping them out of the playoffs. The key in last week's victory over Grapevine was a performance of running back Artis Henderson, who rushed for 225 yards and two touchdowns. The Southamore had touchdown runs of 45 and 75 yards. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is what it's all about. Playoff spot on the line, final game of the season. Great night to watch football in the immortal words of the late Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. The game of the week is next right here on ICTN. Well, here we have the respective teams coming out onto the field, the Irving Tigers, and across the way, the MacArthur Cardinals. This is Bob Barry up in the press box uh, with Lance Brown. Just reflecting on tonight's game, this game, by the way, is being recorded on the night of November the 8th. Uh, as far as the weather is concerned, it's cool. We have uh, not too much of a wind, really. I'm going to guesstimate that the temperatures be around 60 degrees, maybe a little bit less than that. And uh, the keys now to the game, as far as the Tigers are concerned, make the Cardinals throw because they do not have really a good passing offense. Offensive balance, you always want that both running and throwing the ball as far as the Tigers are concerned. And they want some really strong kickoffs. And as far as the Cardinals, well, they say they want to pressure the Irving quarterback, Chris Garcia. Second would be pressure Molina. He is the uh, the punter. And then avoid offensive penalties. If you were with us last night, 
Uh, we had so many penalties in that uh, game with Nimitz and Grapevine. It was just uh, almost outrageous. But that was then, and this is now. And to bring you all the play-by-play -play activity of this great rivalry, here's Lance. All right, Via Toro set to kick the ball off for Mac, and he's booting it somewhat short to about the 12-yard line. Coming up the right side, and out to about the 30-yard line. I think that was Chase Goodall. So the Tigers will have semi-good field position. They will open on offense with the following. Eddington, Garcia, Agundas, Foster, and Chase. Garcia and Franklin will be in the backfield. Then you have Goodall, Mitchell, Coley, and Parr as the receivers. We'll check the defense for you in a moment. First and 10. Tigers with the ball at the 31-yard line. David Vincent coming out on the field now for MacArthur as they send Coley in motion. Franklin runs up the middle for about seven, six yards. Say, say six yards to the 37-yard line. And here's the... Uh, defense for Mac to be Fuhala, Carter, Rollins, and King, Malik, and House, Taylor, and Brown, the corners, and then the secondary, Long, Lawrence, and Delaney, who's listed as the bandit. Second down, about four, quick out, pass, complete, first down, and the ball is caught, and a first down for Chase Goodall. Gets to the 41-yard line. And this is what exactly what the Tigers want to do. They want to mix everything up. Keep the uh, keep the Cardinals off balance between running and throwing. Christian Garcia, the quarterback, came into this ball game, completing 57% of his passes, 12 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Slot left. Here's Franklin right up the middle. Big hole. Franklin got the first down. Good run by Tony as Marcus Long comes up to make the stop. Will you watch it again, Bob? Nothing fancy, but he got an excellent block. And before you know it, he's in the secondary and then whipped down, but he did pick up the first down, two in a row for the Irving Tigers. You know, sometimes this boils down to being a very simple game, blocking and tackling. From the shotgun, actually the pistol, there's the uh, handoff, and this time Franklin goes nowhere. Vincent is a, one of the two men to hit him, as is Abner Reyes. So it's a loss of a yard, second down and 11. Just underway here at Irving School Stadium, a gorgeous night for football. Good way to close out the season. They'll send trips to the near side, MacArthur being the home team. backfield as Garcia wants to throw quick over the middle complete good all first down good all to the 29 yard line and let's move those chains that's about another 15 yard pickup as the Tigers doing a wonderful job here on the opening drive Parr comes wide as a single receiver on the near side there you see Franklin and Garcia on first and 10. Here's Franklin. And Franklin maybe gets four yards. He is brought down by Nick Malik. Let's give him a three yard pick up to the 26 yard line. Second down, seven. Mitchell comes out of the huddle to the near side. Now here comes Coley with him. He'll set up in the slot. Coley goes the other way now. And they hand to Franklin up the middle. Franklin gets a few more yards. He's met by Craig Delaney, the bandit. That's his position, not his nickname. But another four-yard pick of every third down. Let's call it three. We're at the 22, they need to get to the 19. 
Two down territory, though, which I mean, it's actually four down territory. They'll have two more if they choose to go at it, unless they lose a lot here. Here comes a Tiger Blitz, and Franklin runs right into Calvin House. Well, does Aaron Tellatori feel confident in Ivan Soriano to kick it this far out? I don't think so. No one Boy. blocked House at all. Just came right through a grease, made a hit. Disappointing feeling. The Tigers going to go for it here. As they bring in a different package, Tigers may have to call a timeout. They look a little unorganized right now. Eight seconds on the play clock. They got to hurry. Garcia with two, one. Play action, fires over the middle, wide open. Good all first down, and good all is knocked down at the four yard line. Well, that's a great catch. Reaching over his shoulders to make that grab. Marcus Brown coming up gives him a big lick, but good all. Good concentration, Bob. Yeah, definitely. Man, that's a wonderful catch by Chase. Ooh. Fumbled it, but he was on the ground. Quickly up to the line of scrimmage of the Tigers in their power formation. Franklin. Moves the pile a very little bit. Actually, not at all. No gain. Second down, goal from the four. The Tigers are knocking at the door here on their opening drive. Again, the power formation. Going to call timeout. Good decision. Now they have Ballard in there as a tight end. One of them big boys up there to move some people. In a very impressive drive, the Tigers starting from the 31 yard line after running the kickoff back to that point. They've moved it all the way down to the four, picking up four first downs in the process. It's been a close series between these two teams, although the Tigers uh, have been dominated by the Cardinals over the last 10 ball games. Uh, Mack has won nine out of the last 10, including the last four in a row, although last year was an exciting contest. Mack winning it in overtime, 35 to 34. You see the biggest uh, victories and defeats. That, this is the 46th time these two teams have met. I remember that 1996 game in particular. It was a Saturday afternoon ball game, and Irving just basically cashed it. It was the last game of the season. The Tigers barely showed up, and the Cardinals just won't them bad. Aaron Darrell Torrey in his second year as a head coach here. Always, always sounding Mr. Positive. Second down and goal. We're at the four yard line with 7.07 here in the first quarter in the opening drive. Garcia hands off Franklin, sees a crease, jumps it in, and he is close. Touchdown. <laughs> Antonio Franklin, his 10th touchdown of the season, and the Tigers are on the scoreboard first. Now they line up in the swinging gate. Now they'll bring their kicker in. Now a flag comes up. And we'll let referee Joe Horn tell us what indeed the flag is for. You're going over and telling Coach Delatore. Defense number 57 with contact. Against Mac, to the goal. Let's go. Let's get this the try. Okay, the offsides. Called against Mac. To decline that penalty. Ball be placed back on the three yard line. They decline it. It's no big deal. They're going to do it again. And so here is Ivan Soriano looking for his 22nd extra point of the season. And he's got it. Seven and nothing. Let's watch it, Bob. Watch Franklin here. Almost for a second there, I thought he was going to slip and fall. Just that great bounce. Goes to his left and back to the right. 
Boy, what a move he put on that cornerback, wasn't it? The young man has uh, been a nice addition to this Tiger running attack. Oh, that. Coming over from Trinity High School. Yeah, I dare say he has been the uh, Mo Irving's most valuable player and maybe the MVP of the player of the year for the Irving School Districts. I, kids had a marvelous season and he came into this ball game. Uh, I forget what is it, 43 yards need to get at a 1,000? At a he had that somewhere there. He was at 973, so he needed, what, 20, 27 yards. 27 yards, and he's and he, close to it now. Uh, he's one yard away. Oh, well, that's even better. <laughs> you know, Irving has lost so many kids to the transfers over the years, especially in basketball, all three schools, but it's nice to get a good one in here, and boy, he's been a dandy. So we're going to have one of these directional kickoffs, it looks like. There's Soriano. Kicks it high, end over end. It's going to bounce. It's a live ball. Max got it. Well, that was dangerous, though. No, somebody should have come out there and gotten that, baby. I wonder if that was one of those, I got it, you take it. Alphonse and Gaston. It's yours. No, it's yours. And then it turns out to be it's theirs. Yes. <laughs> First and 10 from the 29-yard line. MacArthur. And here is their Mac offense for you. On the line, McCormick, Rowland, Singleton, Vincent, and Blakely. In the backfield, Anthony James, your quarterback. Johnson and Henderson will start in the running backs, but now they're just going to have one running back. Yeah, they almost changed the games anyway. That's why starting lineups are kind of useless. So <laughs> open backfield now. And here comes Henderson back there. What a big game he had last week. And here's the running play up the middle to Henderson, and Henderson maybe gets two yards to the 31. Second down and nine. Here's your Tiger defense. And they got some, they got a good defensive line. Perla, Ballard, Buchanan, and Byron Chase. Garcia, Perez, and Shell, the linebacks in the secondary, are Roscoe Coley, Vincent, and Thomas. Second down and eight. James brings both men back there, Johnson and Henderson. He's going to run a triple option here. James is going to keep it himself. Here's Henderson comes down, lays a great lead block, and gets a first down. James with a good job of reading the defense and watch the great block. Watch number six out front, Bob. Well, you always want, you know, blocking support, and that's exactly what he gets on this play. Taking, he took Coley right out of the play with that block. So six takes six out of it. And as a result, MacArthur with the first down. The Cardinals are just going to try to pound the ball tonight because James is not a very good passer. Logan Austin, their starting quarterback, injured five weeks ago. Here's a little inside pass. This is a pass, and it goes to Webster, and Webster to the 32-yard line. It's first down. That's a shovel pass, and so James completes his first one. What do you want to bet, though, in the paper they'll list that as a running play? Mike. <laughs> First and 10 from the 32 yard line. Mac offensive line doing a good job right now. Here comes Johnson and Henderson in the backfield. They run the triple option this time. They hand it. Johnson up the middle gets a yard. Stop made by Moore Shell. Actually, they say no good. Second down, 10. Now they move Johnson into a slot position. Anderson in the backfield. Brings Webster into the back. They fake that little shovel pass. And James keeps. Ballard wraps him up, but he falls forward. Gets to the 25-yard line. That is a pickup of eight yards. Mm -hmm. 
We watch it again here. They run that little fake and they suck that linebacker in. Third down, two. Johnson and Henderson back with James. There's Johnson, not going to have the first down. He gets back to the line of scrimmage. And we have Damon Victor. He's a little shaken up, look like at first. What did he lose here? His mouthpiece? Had to go out and pick something up. Had a little hitch in his get along. Fourth down play. Fourth down two. Here's James as a first down and touchdown. Dwayne Johnson runs it in from 24 yards out, and we're a point away from being tied. Now they line up in the swinging gate, and here they come. Here's Webster trying to get outside and not going to get there. So the two-point play is unsuccessful, and Mack trails by a point. Let's watch the touchdown here, though, Robert. This is a really fine play. Great blocking. At the hole to begin with, and then he's in the secondary and into the end zone. Good job by Cobley Blakely, the right tackle, blowing his man wide open. And then by the time Cameron Head catches up with him, Mr. Johnson is into the end zone. And that is his seventh touchdown rushing of the season. Well, even though Mac has nothing to play for tonight in terms of a playoff position, a lot of pride, obviously. They would love to knock the Tigers out of the playoff spot. Well, Brian Basil's had a, had a wonderful record since coming here as a head coach in this ball game between these two teams. He's only lost one. Here's the kickoff. It's a long one, and it's going to be taken at the 10-yard line. Coley, 30, 50. Coley down the sidelines and knocked out of bounds at about the 44-yard line. And MacArthur's under the field. Right. Yeah. What a good job he does here. It's a great move on the kicker, although he couldn't keep his feet in bounds. And so the Tigers in wonderful field position at the car. Well, they rule at the Cardinal 45 yard line. First and 10, 332 remaining here. First quarter of action. And in that power formation. Here is the keeper by Garcia. Garcia has a first down. He'll pick up about 12. Now he went out 11 yard pickup to the 34 yard line. Christian Garcia had a fine senior season here. He's averaging about three and a half yards a carry, but you got to remember that includes getting, getting sacked as well. So quarterback stats are often misleading. When it comes to rushing, in the NFL, the uh, yardage for a sack comes off against passing, but in high school and college, it comes off against your rushing. First and 10 from the 34-yard line. Garcia's going to throw, play actions, running out of time. Boom. David Vincent knocks him down from the line side back at the 42-yard line. A loss of eight yards here. Garcia, that's one of those lookout blocks. The uh, tackle misses the... Uh, the man rushing yells, look out! Unfortunately, Garcia didn't hear him. 
Second down, 18 yards to go. Garcia with a play action. Quick out. And inter is an intercept? No, incomplete. Garcia tried to force that into Austin Parr, and it was incomplete. Bring up third down and long. Boy, that could have been really ugly. That was closer to an interception than it was a completion. Craig Delaney in there almost making the INT. Three receivers to the near side on third down 18. Cardinals rush four. Garcia looking. Throws out. Chase Goodall overthrown. Fourth down. Tigers will punt. You notice in so many high school ball games, Bob, and that the uh, the teams come out in the first drive, they usually do pretty well on offense, and then the defensive coordinators have time to adjust, make little changes, and then it seems to change the scope of the ball game. That quite often is the case. Of course, the big change here was the sack that you know really took Irving right out of the the momentum that they had. Did that. So Alfredo Molina will punt the football away. He does get it away, gonna corner kick it, and it's a good kick. It's gonna be inside the 20, close to the 10 yard line. Let's see where they mark it, at the 11. So good kick by Molina. And that's what I meant by pressure, you know, having the Cardinals come up on the left side of the defensive line and come at Molina where he's trying to, trying to do that little sprint out kick. Cardinals in lousy field position this time at their own 11 yard line. And this is what the Tigers had, uh, had kind of in mind when they were designing things, I'm sure, in the week. Three receivers to the near side. Henderson in the backfield now with James. And Henderson going to lose a yard. Watch it again, and he just never had a chance to get going. Yeah, he was wrapped up by Ivan Perla. And Perla gets the sack. A loss of a yard. Second down and 11. 10 on the play clock. Everybody looking at their little cheat sheets. James looks it over with five on the play clock. Gonna throw a quickie, does. Incomplete. Third down and 11. Henderson comes out of the ball game. Got to add an extra wide receiver here. Jackson into the ball game. Got to have to take off and run with a football. Doing a lot of fancy footwork here. Let's see what it gets him. Knocked out of bounds. About a four-yard pickup, but obviously he had a very long way to go. Watch number 36, Omar Perez, coming after him. Michelle was after him and Perez finally running him out of bounds. Fourth down. Tigers will punt the football away. Chris Caballero coming into the game to do that. Let's see who the Tigers send deep. Looks like Coley is back deep to receive. Oh, that's good all. Standing at his own goal line is Caballero. Good snap, no rush, low kick. Hits at the 40. Takes a cardinal bounce. And it'll be down at the 46-yard line. Tigers will again have the ball in good field position at the Cardinal 46 yard line. A buck 37 remaining here in the first quarter of action. Let's call it the 45 yard line officially.
Garcia Franklin in the backfield. Three receivers to the near side. Franklin up the middle, picks up about nine. Hit and drags Calvin House for about four yards. But make it an eight yard pickup. Second down and two, they'll officially mark him at the 37 yard line. He's now over a thousand yards. Good job, young man. Three receivers to the top. Garcia is going to keep. He has the first. 30. Flag is down. It's coming back. You don't get too excited, uh, Tiger fans. I suspect Joe Horn's going to turn around and give us the holding sign. Holding offense number eight. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Replay second down. So instead of the first down, puts the ball at the 42 yard line. It's like a 40 yard penalty. Second down, seven. Drop. Garcia picks it up, keeps, powers his way for four yards. Third down, three coming your way. Here comes Coley and Goodall to the near side. Now we'll check that Mitchell, and Mitchell goes to the top of the screen. Two running backs with Garcia. On third and three. Franklin, first down. Vincent grabbed him, but he had that momentum going forward too much. He picks up five yards, and that's good for a first down. Robert? Boy, tremendous strength on this young man. Watch as he twists and keeps on fighting. He gets an additional two yards on the carry. And a great job by the offensive line there to open that hole. And that's going to be the end of the uh, first quarter of action here at Irving School Stadium. Moves quickly when you run the ball a lot, doesn't it? As the Tigers leading the Cardinals by a score of 7-6, to six, we'll be back for quarter number two right after this. Second quarter of action, we asked the question on Facebook this week, who was going to be victorious in this game? And uh, six out of 10 people said Irving. And I'm sure you can bet the pink slip on that, right, Bob? <laughs> Most definitely, yeah. First and 10 from the 33 yard line. Garcia hands off Franklin. Look at that line surge as Franklin falls forward for about five yards. Man, the offensive line with the Tigers just powering off the ball that time. It'll be second down. Agundas and Garcia and Eddington doing a wonderful job up there. Second down, quick out it goes. Coley. And he is close to a first down. I think he's got it. You like to get this kid in a one-on-one -on -one situation because he has such wonderful athletic ability, Bob. You watch him right here. He's got a lot of speed, you know, and he gives you a big target, too. Two good things to be. Big and fast. And athletic. First and ten, Irving. Just underway, second quarter of action. Mitchell wide to the left side. Coley in the slot here. Garcia, got to keep, gets around one man to the 20. He's going to be close. He has a first down to the 12-yard line, maybe the 11. Move the chains. That's about an 11-yard pickup. Make it a 12-yard pickup, in fact. Mm -hmm. 
Again, that Tiger offensive line doing a great job right now. They are moving some people. Franklin gets away from one man, two men, and a touchdown. Just the mark of a great running back. Could have been dropped for a loss. Got away from the would-be tackler and then just turned it into overdrive and punches in from 11 yards out. And that is touchdown number 11 on the season. And we will line up for the swing and gate. And they're going to run the swing and gate. Will they get in? Looks like they went back to Shell. And they're going to unpile bodies here. Didn't he make did not it. get in. Don't know why you would really run the two point conversion. You keep that one point to play, keep that one point lead in, in play there. Well, I guess you can look at it two ways. One way, you figure if we can make the two point conversion, then they have to score twice because we have a 15 to 6 lead. In other words, we've got a nine point lead as you watch Franklin here. Yeah. Reprising his situation. So both teams have tried the two point play, and both teams have been unsuccessful. Well, that's what we're here for, Bob, is the second guest coaching. <laughs> that is our mission, that is our job. Bye, George. We're going to do we're it. We're going to do it. Soriano will tee it up here. He is looking around the field like he wants the direction to kick it somewhere. Soriano has the good legs so that if you run up and try to cheat on him, he will boot it over your head. Let's see where he goes with this one. Well, he's taking a big run up, making you think he's going to kick it deep. But he doesn't. Well, the Tigers are off sides, too. Taking a 20 yard line. A lot of room. That was Marcus Brown. He gets it to the 40 yard line. And I would think that MacArthur would probably decline this since they have such good field position. Both linesmen flags came out, so there's no doubt as to what this is. I think Mac will keep it. And they'll give him five extra yards Off to, side. to the 45 yard line. Five yard field will be tacked on to the end of the run. First down. Cardinals have the ball first and 10 at the 45 yard line. 10 minutes, 49 seconds remaining here. Second half of action, the second quarter of action. James, Henderson, and Johnson in the backfield. Anthony looks it over, puts Webster in motion, hands the ball up. Nope, going to keep it. James keeps, turns the corner, close to a first down. Where are they going to put him? About a yard shy of the first down, maybe two yards shy. To the 47-yard 40, line in the uh, Irving end of the field. So that's a pickup of eight. Second down, two. James alone in the backfield. Now he brings Henderson and Jackson back there with him. Johnson back there with him. Going to pump, fire, does, complete. And about a two-yard pickup that time to Chris Caballero. He had 13 receptions coming into this ball game for three touchdowns. Has been a good tight end for him, and of course, is their punter as well. They get the first down. First and 10, the ball is at the 43-yard line of Irving. Cardinals trail by seven. First and 10. Johnson is gets me, Henderson and Henderson turns the corner and gets about nine yards. The 
faked me out good. I was following Johnson on that one play. Second down, one to go. Second down, one. Cardinal offensive line right now is doing a pretty darn good job. Webster in motion. Here's James looking to sweep. Turns the corner. Ball is in the air. Is it picked off? It was picked off, but did he catch it out of bounds? That's the question. That's the question. Was he in bounds or out of bounds? And I think he was out of bounds when he caught the ball. So it will not be a turnover. A big, big break for the Cardinals here, Bob. You watch it right here. Up goes the ball. And watch the Irving player take it, but he's, yeah, he's strictly offside, no doubt about it. Yeah. Third down and two. It's four down territory for MacArthur, though, unless they lose a lot of yardage here. Eleven on the play clock. James looks at his cheat sheet, tells his running backs to get back there. They have three to snap it. James is going to keep and get a first down. Anthony James to the 31 yard line. Move those chains and it's another first down for Matt. Omar Perez making the stop for Irving. First and 10. They get the play in. Anderson and Johnson come back. Now they're going to fire, and it's in. Oh, it should have been six points the other way. That was a pick six, and it was just plain dropped by Randall Vincent. Oh, Randall. He's going to look at the films tomorrow and go, oh. I assure you, no one feels worse about this than the young man who could not hold on to that ball. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know. He will never have a better opportunity for a pick six in his life. Second down and 10. Cardinals with a huge break there. James just never saw him. They run the option. James pitches back. This is a running play. Henderson is going to get down to about the 12-yard line, maybe the 11. That'll be another first down. It's a 20-yard run for Artis Henderson. Great read here, Bob. Yes, it was. And then the overhand lateral, Henderson breaking one tackle, and then spun out of bounds by Coley. First and 10 from the 11-yard line. 8.57 remaining here in the second quarter. Johnson has had no place to go that time. He kept dancing, he kept hoping a, a hole would finally come up, but it just never happened for him. It's tough Omar one Petter yard. is making the stop. He picked up one, second down and nine. Henderson comes back. Henderson goes nowhere. Ballard grabbed him. So did Perla. And Pettis was there as well. And I think I saw a couple Irving cheerleaders there make the stop too. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. I want him. No, I want him. No, I want him. No, I want him. No. Third down and 11 on a loss of two yards. Ball on 12-yard line. James will throw. James will fire. James will be intercepted. Coley is going to try to run it out. No, smart move. Michael Coley with the pick. And we'll have a turnover. Tigers will get the ball in their own 20-yard line. Well, that's the play of the first half, no doubt about it. It takes the points away from MacArthur and really gives uh, Irving a tremendous opportunity here. Boy, that was a wonderful athletic play by Coley. Boy, he wanted to run it out too, Bob. Yeah, he did. 
But as he was coming to his right, he realized, whoop, no blocking ahead of me. Better, better just slide into third base there. There you go. Sometimes discretion is a better part of valor. No doubt about it. First and, twin, first and 10, 20 yard line, Irving. They hand up the middle, Franklin with a big hole. And Franklin, a 19 yard pickup to the 39 yard line. Look at him hit this hole and explode. Ooh. They love that kind of speed. Can't teach it. First and 10, Irving. You know, it worked well last time. It works well again. Not quite as well, Bob. They only got 13 this time. Oh, darn. To the Cardinal 48-yard line. So 32 yards picked up in the last two carries by Antonio Franklin. He's been the uh, star of this ball game so far. Garcia, they're going to call a timeout here with three seconds left. Timeout. Play Irving, clock. their second timeout of the half. It's their second timeout. They have one remaining. So far, been doing a wonderful job on offense with that uh, offensive line for the Tigers. They have moved some folks around. And at halftime, Brooke Pratt is going to have a, long, a look at this longtime rivalry between the Cards and the Tigers. It's been a good one, man. We've seen, Bob and I have seen some terrific ball games over the many, many years. A few blowouts, a few yawners. Like last year's game was just a wonderful game. Look at all the people in attendance here. Yeah, big crowd here yeah. from Irving. This is one of the biggest crowds I've I've seen. As a matter of fact, for a visiting, this is far and away the biggest visiting crowd we've had all year. Definitely. Of course, they didn't have too far to travel. Yes, and, this and, is true. <laughs> and by the same token, they have an opportunity to watch their team go into the playoffs. So. And next week, the playoff game will be here at Irving School Stadium, whether it's Nimitz or whether it's Irving. Right now, it's looking like the Tigers. Garcia with the option. Oh, another big hole. Franklin, look at this young man go. 26-yard line this time. The offensive line is just opening up huge holes for Franklin, and he doesn't need much. But the right guard, Eric Foster, knocking some people loose there. First and 10 Tigers at the 26 yard line. Again, it's Franklin. Yeah, he only picked up three yards. What a bump. <laughs> this reminds me of those Tiger teams of about 15 years ago when he had Tyson Thompson running behind about six 300 pounders. And they just pounded the ball at you all night long, and, and Tyson would just run wild. Dyson had the great speed. Eventually played a couple of years for the Dallas Cowboys. Five on the play clock on second down and about seven. This time Garcia is going to keep and Garcia is going to get a first down and, and going to go all down. the way. Uh oh. No, he's not. He's coming back, holding. Good part is it's not going to cost the Tigers too much. Because the holding penalty was called at about the six yard line. Holding, holding. offense holding. number 10. 10 well, they've got the ball the foul. right now on the The results of the penalty will still be a first right. down. So if they step it off from that point. It's a first down. Mm -hmm. So we'll move the chains. And they're going to be penalized the 10 yards. Watch Goodall at the uh, top of your screen. Yeah, it hits holding. 
Chase Nomanos, por favor. First and 10 from the 11 yard line. There's Franklin dancing. And that cha cha didn't get many points from the uh, officials on Dancing with the Stars. A two yard pickup, second down and eight. I think Bruno only gave him a seven on that particular dance. Second down play. Here's Garcia going to score easily. Everybody concentrated on Franklin. No one thought about Garcia carrying the ball. And he takes it in for the touchdown. 14 yards and a touchdown for Irving as they go up by two touchdowns. Comes with five minutes remaining. The Tigers going to kick the extra point. They lead 19 to 6. Soriano will attempt the extra point. Garcia will hold. And he boots it perfect. Straight down the middle. Boom, boom, doo, doo, doo. Let's watch it again here. No one even come close to touch you. Well, I'd made the observation that I thought the, the play in this first half was the interception. And see what happens after the interception? Irving moves the ball 80 yards and scores. Talk about a, a change in, in scoring here. Irving up seven because of that play. And you didn't know what MacArthur would do. Right. You know, he, no guarantee that they'd score a touchdown. They might have been able to get a field goal. But they don't get anything because of the interception. So big journal. And let's just give a big shout out to that Tiger offensive line, Bob. Man, a lot of they opened some holes, and you don't need a lot of holes for Franklin. But he took three straight carries from his own 20 to the 24 yard line. So Soriano looks over at his uh, boss and asks, All right, where do you want me to kick it? Like he's going to try to kick it to the left side of the field. Here he comes. He does. Very good kick. They fight over the football. And it's Mitt, no. Jackson, Caleb Jackson on the return. Takes it to the 29 yard line. Well, this is where it kind of hurts uh, not having Logan Austin, Bob, at quarterback. Oh, sure. Yeah. You're, you're down by two touchdowns right now. And you know, you, this is, uh, let's face it, this is this is a young man who does, James, who doesn't throw the ball particularly well. And so you got to just kind of hope to bust one with your running backs, I guess. Who's in at quarterback? It's not James. That's James, for sure. James, is it? <laughs> number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Ashton Pollard is the quarterback. That's a pickup of about five yards there. Second down play. Pollard fires, it's caught. And about, a, it'll be a first down. That's about an eight yard pickup there. That's a wonderful move by the receiver. Boy, he earned some extra yardage simply because he was so nimble. Well, this is the fourth quarterback of the season to play, play in, in that position for uh, MacArthur this year. Soto has also played, as well as James and Austin. Hand off up the middle and carrying the ball for about three, four yards. Henderson.
Pollard looks it over on second down and six. He fires incomplete. Maybe he thought a receiver was going to do something different than he did. Third down play. This is a young man, I assume, Bob, who just has not had many snaps this year. A quarterback. This he played on the JV a lot. With time, fires over the middle, complete Webster, first down to the 40-yard line. Forward progress to the 40, doesn't matter anyway, it's a first down. Pollard had all the time of the world to make this throw. Yeah, makes, you, makes you a whole lot better quarterback when you have time. It certainly helps, yeah. It looks like he had some nice zip on the ball, too. Yeah, this is our first time to see the young man play the game. First and ten. Here's the handoff. Henderson. Henderson sweeping for another first down. Coley throws him out of bounds at the 20-yard line. That's a pickup of 20 yards. And a Cardinal first down. Well, Pollard's got him on the move here. Watch. Uh, I'm saying, why not a penalty? Well, it's an official's judgment call that he didn't do it on purpose. He just didn't know where he was. Henderson goes back there with Pollard. Here's Henderson up the middle. Go! go. 20 yard touchdown run by Henderson. And the Cardinals are back in this football game. Add the extra point. Cardinals, Tigers are offsides. Flags come. For the extra point count. We're talking to the uh, referee here. Let's penalize him on the kickoff. Tigers, that is. With the kick from the 45. Well, that's a drive of 71 yards, taking the kickoff and moving the ball all the way down. Now they're bringing it back out. They're going to make it kick it again. They're saying the, the whistle blew before the uh, ball was snapped, so they're going to have to kick it again. Offsides, defense. So the irony is the uh, penalty could cost uh, the Matt. Try. We'll see. Knox Nicks. Extra point is good. 20 to 13. Bob, watch his touchdown. This is Henderson. Got the crease and then gets the touchdown. Well, he had a heck of a game last week when he ran for more than 200 yards, and he's really picking up some right now. At this point right now in the game, he's carried for 78 yards. He and Franklin have both uh, put on a good display so far. It is 20 to 13 with two minutes and 58 seconds remaining here in the first half of action. The offensive lines for both teams are really doing a good job in this ball game. Mm -hmm. Mack opened some nice holes there for Henderson. So Viatoro will kick the ball off. 
Mitchell is deep. Coley is one of the up men. This is Coley from the 10 yard line. Coley breaks it to the right, trying to sweep out, does, and gets knocked out of bounds at the 29 yard line. With two minutes and 50 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Let's see if history repeats itself because on the previous kickoff, MacArthur got the ball to their 29 yard line. And then March 71 yards for the score. Oh, they're going to put this one on the 28. Okay. I thought it was going to be 29 and 29, but uh, ball on the 28 for the Tigers, 250 to go. And the Tigers have one timeout remaining. The Cardinals have all three. Garcia hands off. Here's Franklin getting about three yards to the 32 yard line. Tigers have one timeout remaining. And by the way, we were told that the new quarterback, Bob, is Kane Harding, number nine. Kane Harding. So he just must be up off the JV. And he may have earned himself a starting spot next year. Who knows? Franklin up the middle. And, oh, ooh, ooh. Tony Franklin gets a first down to the 46-yard line. Man, look at the, the chunks of yardage he's picking up. Boy, he was double teamed. Ew, ouch. Franklin going to feel that when he's 40. First and 10. Franklin again for about two yards. Bringing up second down and well, the Got two yards to the 48, second down and six, 152 remaining. See if the Tigers try to go up in the air here to maybe get some extra points before halftime. Franklin, now let's give it to him and let him run all the way, right? They're not going to catch Franklin. My goodness. 52-yard run for Franklin. His third touchdown of the ball game. Goodness gracious, this offensive line for Irving is doing a marvelous job. And, and Franklin makes him pay. It is 26-13. The Tigers will attempt to add the extra point here. They got 10 seconds to kick the ball. Soriano on with Garcia to hold. Oh, Garcia's gonna have to throw in zone and no dice. So they box the extra point. So look at this and they had the blitz on Bob so they had no linebackers left. And then it was just adios. Yeah, you can go great with the blitz and Aaron Delatore not particularly happy with what happened on that extra point. One twenty-six left, Tigers again up by two touchdowns. And we will have a band extravaganza here at halftime. Both bands right now are lining up on the south end of the field along with the Toy Tigers, along with the Cardettes. There's just a whole lot of folk down there. There's a bunch, that's for sure. There's Logan Austin. He had the knee surgery there and yeah, hopefully we'll be back next year, he should. They do wonderful things with knees these days. Boy, in the old days, you'd have surgery. They'd be, they had to be in the hospital for a week at least. Yes. 
Oh, yeah. What is now a scope job. They'll have you in and out the next day. Soriano punches it long down the middle. No one's there. It's going to be caught at the goal line. Here is coming up the middle, Brown. And Brown to the 35 and out to the 40-yard line. Hall making the stop for Irving. Marcus got himself some speed, Robert. Boy, he sure does. He's tough because he bangs right into that would-be tackler, and they both go down. Well, that was Allen Davis, number 23, not 22. So Harding, the quarterback, looked good on his first drive. He has 118, and the Cardinals have all three timeouts remaining. They hand the ball to Johnson, and Johnson falls forward for about five yards. He's not in a particular hurry, it looks like, to get a play underway. Second and five. Harding fires over the middle, incomplete, intended for Webster. It was overthrown. Stops the clock with 53 seconds left, bringing up third down five. You know, it's asking a lot of any team, Bob, to have the guy who's the fourth team quarterback come in and try to turn things around, but you got to do what you got to do. Pumps, Harding fires long, looking for Webster, and Coley almost intercepts, knocks it down with 44 seconds left. It'll bring up fourth down, and the Cardinals will have to punt the football away. Irving will send Chase Goodall back. Chris Caballero will punt the football. Good snap. Low kick. And it start at the 21-yard line with 33 seconds left. One would assume the Tigers will just have a one run up the middle, and if it doesn't do anything, just go ahead and go into the locker room, content with a two-touchdown lead. Well, look at what the Tigers have done so far. They've had the ball five times with the following results. A touchdown, a punt, a touchdown, a touchdown, and a touchdown. Boy, that's what you call efficiency. Cardinals have had a touchdown, punt, interception, touchdown, and punt. Garcia hands to Franklin. Franklin falls forward to the 25-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four. And that will be the last play, I assume, of the first half. Franklin was looking back. He wants to run it again, I think. And his coach telling him, no, we're going to be happy with uh, the two-touchdown lead at halftime. Come on, guys. Let's get it on. And that is the way it's going to be. Tigers lead 26-13. But before we go to halftime and all the various festivities, we're going to have uh, a look at the history of these two teams. And a young lady by the name of Brooke is going to do the looking. Sitting in Coach Delatore's office at Irving High School, you don't see much of MacArthur's Cardinal Red, except for this. It's not left since I've gotten this job. It stayed there. That's always my little reminder. What do you think they're doing at MacArthur right now? That's a question Coach Delatore and his staff have been asking a lot this week as the Tigers get ready to face off with their in-city rivals. It's the last game of the season, but it's definitely one of the ones that jumps right out at you. Coaches on both sides say that the MacArthur-Irving rivalry is arguably the most intense in-city matchup of the season. I think something about the MacArthur-Irving uh, rivalry is definitely different than the 
the Nimitz rivalry for sure. You get the north side, that side of the highway, and this side of the highway. Not only is it a heated rivalry, though, if Irving wins, they'll be the new in-city champions. One of our big goals here is to be city champs. And um, it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but for the people of Irving, they understand what that means. And I, I kind of like to keep that title here for another year. A year of bragging rights and an in-city championship title. There couldn't possibly be any more riding on this game. But there is. Playoffs. Euless Trinity, LD Bell, Colleyville Heritage have all clinched. There's so many scenarios, but the best scenario in my mind is, you know, we control our own destiny here, so if we win, we're in. That's right, if Irving wins, they go straight to the playoffs. Their last playoff appearance was in 2008, and they got there by beating MacArthur in the last game of the season. Mac doesn't want that to happen again. When you get to this point in the year, is is you got to lay it all on the line. It's always going to mean something to them. They're going to come back at their 10-year, 20-year reunion, and they're going to talk about that game. With so much at stake, this year's MacArthur Irving battle is sure to be one to remember. Brooke Pratt for Game of the Week. Thank you, Brooke. Coming up next, coverage of both bands and the highlights and stats of the first half. Halftime here at Irving School Stadium. We have MacArthur and Irving High School. And you see the Cardettes out there. And you're going to see quite a presentation by these two bands. Let's go down to the field and pick it up. It would be Lieutenant Jessica Galvan, Lieutenant Alejandro Ruiz, First Lieutenant Sidney Coker, and Captain Garcia Zavala.
direct your attention to the center of the field and welcome the apex of sound, the quintessence of marchery, the avalanche of awesomeness, the musical tour de force, the sound just north of downtown, the eye of Irving, the pinnacle of pride, the epitome of ensemble excellence, the supersonic sound of supremacy, the hallmark of high expectations, the masters of movement, the plethora of pageantry, the pride of Irving High School, the UIL award-winning Irving High School Marching Tiger Band. Tonight, the band will present a portion of their production entitled In the Air. The band is under the field direction of drum majors Carla Alvarez, Carlos De La Rosa, and Audrey Kennedy. The drumline captains are Tommy Martinez and Connor Scribner. The color guard captains are Stephanie Lozano and Jennifer Rivera. The Pride of MacArthur, the Mighty Cardinal Marching Band.
Gillian M. Gillian A. Gillian C. Go MacArthur. We would like to take this time to announce this year's band, Bow and Sweetheart. Representing last year's band, Bow and Sweetheart, Raul Ruth and Nicole Vargas will present this year's band, Bow and Sweetheart. The 2013 MacArthur Band Bow is Jamar Donnell. The 2013 MacArthur Band Sweetheart is Taylor Presley. Congratulations, Taylor and Jamar, and congratulations to all of our seniors on your final halftime performance. MacArthur fans, here is your fight song. Well, we're still here at halftime, 26 to 13. There you saw the, the two people being honored, the trombone player and the young lady, the king and queen. We have... Um, Highlights for you, and believe me, there are quite a few of them. You like scoring, offense? Here it comes. We're going to roll it your way right now. This is the first touchdown with uh, Mr. Franklin going in. We're going to see a lot more of him. That was a four-yard run, by the way. And then Johnson for 24 yards for MacArthur. That made it 7-6. to six. Back come the Tigers, and back come this man again, Franklin. This is an 11-yard run, probably bobbed and weed for about 15 of them, too, before he cleared out for 11. And now Garcia goes in untouched from 14 yards out on the keeper. Now we're going to see Henderson, 20-yard scamper right here. And not to be outdone, here comes Franklin. 52 yards right up the center and just keeps on going and rolling along. Well, Everyone here in attendance, if they like to see offensive football, they're certainly getting their money's worth. And here we have uh, basically the first half stats. Look at the total yards for Irving, 293, and for Mark, uh, MacArthur, 183. Now of that 293, 199 of them for Tony Franklin. Young man really doing well here. Penalties, just uh, 15 of them for Irving and none for MacArthur. A big turnaround from the game we had last night when we had, I think, about a total of 17 penalties between Grapevine and Nimitz. So the halftime presentation still rolling along here, and we'll be back in a moment. It's 26-13, and we start the second half, and MacArthur will receive the kickoff and bring you the rest of the way. Here's Lance. All right, thank you very much, Bob. The Cardinals trailing by two touchdowns here. Lawrence and Henderson are deep to receive. Let's see whether they'll get it. Here's the kick from Soriano, and the second half is underway. Towards the corner, Webster takes it at his own 19-yard line, dances to the middle, and gets away from one man, loses more yardage, and keeps going, still, still going, gets back to the 19-yard line. Man, he ran a long way and uh, absorbed some punishment along the way, but giving it the old high school try there. And that's where the Cardinals will start, and we'll see if they send Keen Harding back out as their quarterback. It is Harding again. 
They gave the hook to James in the second quarter, and Harding came in and lead him, let him do a touchdown. Brings back Henderson with him. Henderson gets the ball, dancing for some yardage, gets to the 20, and that's it, a one-yard pickup. Ran into Big Juicy. Davion Buchanan. Second down, nine. Harding looks it over. Brings a man in motion, lets him go by. Play action, fires down and complete. It'll be real close to a first down. Caballero is the uh, receiver. And Chris has the first down. We watch it again, just a quick slant in. Boy, he paid for that one, didn't he? The run around, and that was uh, Damon Victor on the wing back around. Victor picks up, I don't know, two yards, maybe a yard. Second down and eight, let's say. Tigers do some shuffling. We better go. We saw Jim Bennett, former Tiger coach, on the sidelines. Seniors here on his team were sophomores when Jim was the coach. Harding hands off. Here's Henderson weaving his way through the middle. Gets a couple of yards. Diab making the stop. Third down play coming up. They're down five yards to go. Tigers show a five-man line. Now they bring a six-man up. They're coming after him. They block him well. He throws a great pass first down. Caught at the 48-yard line. That's Caleb Jackson who makes his ninth reception of the season. This is a wonderful throw, Bob. Yes, it is right on the money. Man, that's putting Leche on the fortune. Good job, Caleb, in making that reception. They were all over him, but he brought it down anyway. First and 10 at the Tiger 48-yard line. There's Henderson. Gets away from a couple of men. Perla wrapped him up, and then several other white jerseys got on him. But Henderson picks up four yards. Well, we'll have second down and six yards to go. Alex Drummond comes into the ball game, replacing Caleb Jackson. Three receivers to the near side. Marty pumps, fires, first down. Well, close to first down. I was a bit premature on that. Drummond on the reception. Let's see where they mark his forward progress. That's a first down. 38 yard line. Now Jackson comes back in. This is a really good job here by Drummond. And his kid Harding Bob is throwing the ball well. Yes, he is. There's Henderson up the middle. Whoa. He got a good set of bunch of steam going up, but unfortunately he ran right into Omar Perez, who uh, this stopped him cold after a two yard pickup. Second down eight. Tough way to make a living, Bob. Looks like we're running into a brick wall. Well, Perez is a tough kid. 
he's already a daddy and he's a senior in high school, so it's a hard thing to do. I think to be a father, period, much less still in high school. Second down, eight. Play action, they fire over the middle, complete Webster. Webster with another first down to the 26-yard line. They're having a lot of success with these little slant patterns. And now drumming in and Jackson out. Harding looks at his cheat sheet, looks things over. Six men on the line coming after him. Here they come. Play action, they fire up. And a flag is thrown, it's gonna be a late hit on Harding. They're roughing the passer. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense, number 92. 15 yards, 15 more yards. yards. First down. And another first down. Big Juicy. Try to make him a wet spot in the road, but it's a first down for the Cardinals. First and 10, 646 remaining third quarter. Play action, he fire out, overthrown. Intended for Damon Victor. Second down. This is good defense here, Bob. Well, it certainly is. The ball was thrown high. The man who was supposed to throw the block didn't. So really, it's a good thing Victor didn't catch it because he would have caught it the hard way. The ball and then really been slammed to the ground. Second down, 10. Harding looks at the four-man front and no fires. It's complete and another first down. It'll be first down goal to go. We watch it again. There's a little slant pattern again there. And that was Victor on the receiving end of that pass. First down, goal to go. The ball is on the three-yard line. Henderson touchdown. And so the Cardinals still a touchdown away from the Tigers. Nice offensive series. Kickers aren't supposed to do that, are they? <laughs> Via Toro really got hammered. We'll watch it again. This is Henderson going into the three yard shot. He's having trouble with the extra points tonight. Well, we've had both teams attempt a two point play. Both of them were unsuccessful. Smith's extra point here. Don't know if we got that extra point, but man, Via Toro really gets hammered. Let's watch the extra point here. Uh oh. Clunk. <laughs> That's what you call being sandwiched. Yeah, the, hem, the, the, the kicker is not supposed to do these things. I mean, he's just supposed to you know, kick the ball, get out of the way. The old joke, I'm going to kick me a touchdown. Alex, uh, Alex Karras, the late Alex Karras used to joke about that all the time. They'd send in these little foreign kickers, and you know, they didn't care for them back then. This touchdown by MacArthur taking 
moving down the field after the kickoff. This is the sixth time this game that a team has taken the ball from the kickoff. Short kick. Scored. Well, this is going to be a penalty because he scheduled a fair catch. Yeah. Good call. Good call. Here come the flags. I know the, the MacArthur fans aren't going to be happy with this, but this is a correct call. The Irving player scheduled it, called for the fair catch. And and now one of the Cardinals, Stacy Lawrence, is trying to explain to his man. He says, hey, man, when he waves that arm, you got to give him the ball. you got to back off. And so the Cardinals uh, will have the penalty. They'll tack 15 yards off at the point of the foul, and the Tigers are going to have the ball in great field position. Kick catch interference on the kicking team. 15 yard penalty. First down. There you can hear him. Not happy. This is the correct call, though. Yeah, it is. By the way, the referee tonight is Joe Horn. The umpire is Rodney Jackson. The head linesman is Jimmy Evans. The line judge is Rick Jasper. The back judge is Brandon Haley. And the clock operator tonight, Mr. Wally Banks. You know, everybody but Banks is getting booed right now. Here's Franklin. Oh, and a big hole again for Tony to the 36 yard line. Close to a first down. But I think he'll be shy about a yard. We'll give him a nine yard pickup. Second down and one coming up. Franklin's going to have the game of his life here, I think, tonight, Bob. He's over 200 yards. Right. Gets the first down. Let's call it a two yard pickup. You know, the way he's breaking them, though, Bob, he could he could wind up with 300 before this is all over. Got a while before he would catch the uh, all-time Irving rushing record, which is Tyson Thompson. I think it was, what, 565 yards, Scott? Against Bell. L.D. Bell. Yeah. Yeah. 525. And then the next year, against Bell again, he rushed for over 400 yards. Tyson did. Here's the play action. Garcia's going to keep. And a nice tackle on the near side here was made by Marcus Brown to trip Garcia up after a pickup of about four yards, Bob. Watch Brown here right around the ankles. That's the way to do it. Good job, Marcus. Second down play. Shell comes out of the ball game. No shell into the ball game. Perez comes out. They want the fullback in there. Play action. Garcia wants to go up on top. Shell incomplete. No foul is called because it hit the back of a MacArthur player. I know Shell was looking for pass interference, but the ball wasn't particularly well thrown. Third down, seven coming up. Garcia looks it over on third down. Franklin, a yard, maybe two. Now nope, they're going to head to the 30, so it's a one-yard pickup. Fourth down, five yards to go. The field goal try would be about 47 yards. Forget it. Send in a couple receivers, go wide to the near side. 11 on the play clock. Garcia all by himself in the backfield. Looking, looking, nobody's open. He's going to take off and run. And he is going to get a first down to the 22 yard line. Good coverage. In the secondary, he had no one to throw to, but he just saw everybody going so deep and he saw running room. And Garcia is a pretty darn good runner, as you see right here. Kind 
to knock Marcus Long on his keys through there from the safety position. First and 10. Ball is at the 22 yard line. Franklin. About five yards. To the 16 yard line. Tigers offensive line just moving people away. Nice methodical drive for Irving. 3.08 remaining third quarter. Garcia directing traffic. Timeout called. Timeout, Irving. Their first timeout of the half. Tigers call a timeout before the clock uh, ran now. And let's go back to 2008, Bob, the last time Irving defeated the MacArthur team. What happened there? Well, let's see. We go back midway the fourth quarter. James Sims takes a swing pass for Michael Brooks. He was a pretty good player. Uh -huh. Goes 36 yards. Put the cards up by a count of 38-24. But the game still progresses on. Senior quarterback Jacoby Bradley caps off the drive with the TD run from four yards out. As a result, Irving won the ball game. Yeah. Tigers twice stopped the cards on fourth down. They preserved the win. They earned a trip to the postseason and one final playoff game at Texas Stadium. And James Sims has had a very nice career up in up in the land of Dorth, uh, Dorothy and Toto. Lawrence, Kansas. Uh -huh. All right, we're back. Second down, five. Tigers use their first timeout. This time, Garcia under center. Franklin gets a couple yards. Lawrence making the stop that time. Looks like uh, Darren Sargent was also there. So we'll have third down, four yards to go. Garcia is keeping to the 10, the 5, and Garcia into the end zone for the touchdown. Christian Garcia with a second touchdown run of the night. This comes from 16 yards out. Cardinals go up by three touchdowns, or two touchdowns again. And we have a player down on the far side for Mac. He's just number 29, Brandon Taylor. Hobbling a bit. By the way, Heritage was leading Bell 35-10 at halftime, and Coppell was leading Louisville 36-6 at halftime. If Irving holds on, he will play Coppell right here next week. Soriano. No good. Missed it. Mm. Special teams, not so special. Here's the quarterback keeping, running, and scoring. Thirty-two to nineteen. The last five touchdowns, I think this is kind of interesting, Lance, have come after kickoffs. They've been prolonged drives. You know, you kick off to me, we're going to move the ball down the field. I kick off to you, you move the ball down the field. So, in all, we've had seven touchdowns like this, taking a kickoff and then moving all the way down the field. Very impressive. Yeah, and offensive lines for both teams are doing a very, very good job. Brown and Lawrence go back deep to receive for MacArthur. Now 
Marquise Haygood is in the middle there, it's standing up near the 20-yard line. Soriano to kick off. Short kick taken at the 32-yard line. This is Webster running, looking for something. Well, the key there is that Soriano just kicked the ball so high that there really wasn't any place for it to go. The coverage could get down quickly. Webster's had a couple of those tonight. Yes. Well, the ball's at the 32-yard line. 2.08 remaining here in the third quarter of action. Kane is the quarterback. Isn't it Harding? Or, I mean, Harding, Kane Harding, that's what I meant. Kane Harding, you were right. We were both right. He was raising Kane. He's done a good job of moving this team since coming in. He's led him to two touchdowns. Running out of time, and they get the flag. That's a thing Delay. for a young quarterback to Offense. be able to pay attention to the clock Five yard penalty. and the signals and everything first at the down. same time. Just experience. First and 15. Really better, I think, than the Cardinals wasting a timeout here. They may need that later in the ballgame. Johnson, the running back. Gonna throw, fires over the middle for Webster, incomplete overthrown. So it'll be second down. Webster and Drummond to the near side. That's Drummond in motion. Harding wants to throw. He does. And a flag comes down. I think he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. He may have an ineligible receiver downfield. He probably saw Harding start to run and then decided, okay, this is going to be a run. I better get out and start blocking. An eligible receiver downfield on the offense, number 54. Correct. Penalties They'll decline. decline that penalty. Third down. Because it was incomplete. And make it third down and 15. Little bit of an experience showing right now for Mr. Harding. Big inner city ball game is kind of thrown in as he uh, gets his feet wet in varsity play for the first time this year. Third and long, here comes the blitz. He was hammered as he threw the ball. Incomplete, no flag comes out, fourth down. Look at him. Look at uh, Luis Garcia. Being a quarterback isn't all uh, getting the girl and getting all the accolades. Fourth down play. There's a punt away by Caballero. Down the ball at the 45 yard line, and that's where Irving will take over. I was listening to the ticket tonight, Bob, and uh, Mike Reiner had uh, Kenny Stabler on as a guest, the old, the old snake. And, you know, they were talking about injuries, and, you know, naturally with the Tony Dorsett type of information, and we've heard about Jim McMahon and his problems with dementia and everything now for all the hits. And Stabler goes, Look, man. There's not a part of my body that doesn't hurt right now. <laughs> he says, I'd do it all over again, though. That's what they all say, yeah. You know, they had fun. Uh, and a lot of them were paying for it. 
<laughs> it's an extremely rough game. First and ten. Franklin. Nope, no, it's Garcia, Garcia keeping. Good fake, and Garcia took the slide and decided, you know what, I've had enough, and he picked up six yards. And Garcia kind of wondering, he says, hey, he hit me. It's not supposed to happen. And the back judge is telling him, uh, you didn't slide soon enough. Second down, four yards to go. Now here's Franklin with a first down. Franklin to the 41 yard line. Tackled by Calvin House, but they'll move the chains and get another first down. I think the Tigers get a touchdown here, Bob. It's, I think that puts the Cardinals away, really. Three touchdown lead, but you never know, do you? Garcia hands to Franklin on first down, and the play just looked ugly from the very beginning. Sometimes it happens like that. Sargent making the stop. That will probably be the last play of the third quarter of action. It will be. The Irving Tigers needing a win to get in the playoffs are well underway. They lead by 13 points as we head into the fourth quarter of action here at Irving School Stadium. Stick around for quarter number four. It's coming right up. Ready for the fourth quarter of action, Bob, as the uh, Tigers and Cardinals come back out on the football field. Let's talk about those good folk who bring us the ball game of the week each week on ICTN. That would be Gerald Stapley Dry Cleaning, a charter sponsor of the early game of the week. That designation awarded to the Stapley people because they've been with us since these broadcasts began all the way back in September of 1983. And as always, we thank the Stapley people for their participation. It goes without saying, but we'll say it and for their loyalty. Fourth quarter of action about to get underway. Franklin, the ball carrier, on second down, carries to the 37-yard line. For a couple more, it'll bring up third down and right around six yards to go. Earl Rollins comes in. Abner Reyes goes out. Rollins plays two ways, so they got to get him some rest time here and there. Third down play. Franklin gets a yard. It's going to bring up fourth down and five yards to go. Tiger's going to go for it here. Way too far for a field goal try. Still waiting for a play on the sidelines. 15 seconds on the play clock. and Maybe this going to let it run down and then call a timeout. Or maybe not just take the penalty and punt the football away. That's what's going to happen. Now they call a timeout. Timeout, Irving, their second timeout of the half. That's good use of the clock that time by Alan Delatore. You know, the clock is your friend when you got this kind of a lead. And basically, if you can milk it, and that's exactly what uh, Irving did that time, it's well, to your advantage. Why would you call a timeout then? If you're going to go for it, uh, why not just snap it with one second left maybe they're going to go for it are they just going to figure out a play right now well we'll see mm -hmm. next week on ictn we're going to be right back here 
And it's looking like the Irving Tigers will play the Coppell Cowboys. Yahoo! Been a while since we've seen Coppell. When they were in the, Irving was in the same district with them about uh, nine, ten years ago. And Max saw him last year in the by district and didn't fare too well for Mac. And the Tigers are going to go for it. Huh. Okay. Fourth down, five yards to go. Garcia on the play action. Fires. Oh, complete the good all first down, 22-yard line. Man, what a great throw and catch that was. Chase Goodall making the reception here on play action, Bob. He has excellent hands. He's just been good all year round. Chase came into this game with 32 receptions, 410 yards, and three touchdowns. Good possession type of receiver. Coley's their big play guy. But Goodall's a good one, too. Play action. Looking in zone. Incomplete. Intended for Shell, but he was well covered by Lawrence. Cardinals like to throw the ball to Shell, who has good hands. Could very well be the uh, full-time running back next year for Irving. He's a junior. Franklin is a senior. But they'll worry about that next year. Second down play. Garcia gets away from one man and picks up four or five yards. Spot the ball at the 19-yard line. So it's only a pickup of three yards. It'll bring up third down, seven yards to go. 19 on the play clock. Ten on the play clock. Third down and long. Garcia pressured, fires incomplete. Go fourth down. One would think they would try a field goal right now. Soriano has the leg, and here he comes. Actually has two legs, but <laughs> yes. I know he can kick it this far. <laughs> Soriano's been a fine kicker the last three years for Irving. One of the best kickers Irving's ever had, and they've had a bunch of them. Ball will be spotted at the 26, so a 36-yard try. The ball is up, long, and it is good. So the Tigers come away with something. Comes with 9-11 remaining in the ball game. And now Irving goes up by a score of 35 to 19. For the Cardinals, they have to have two eight-point plays. They're down by 16. Well, not easy, but doable. Still a lot of time left in this football game. Trouble is, though, Bob, defensively, they really haven't been able to stop the Tigers. No, not at all. That running game has just really dominated the uh, MAC defense. Yeah, Franklin with over 200 yards. I guess Garcia is about, what, 80 yards or something like that by now? Well, let's see. Garcia has um, 86. There you go. Mm -hmm. That was just a guess on my part. But Good guess. Yeah. You got the lotto numbers for me, by the way? Yeah, how if I did, hot. I wouldn't be sitting here, Bob. <laughs> I'd be on a nice beach in Hawaii right now. Mahalo. <laughs> I would have that beachfront condo at, on, uh, probably on Kauai. It's my favorite island. Although I told Don Nelson that one time, and he said, nah, he says, Maui's a place. And Maui's <laughs> fun. A lot more things to do, but. 
Here's Soriano. Short kick. Taken and down to the 35. And the uh, receiver on that play was uh, Alex Drummond. Tried to make something out of it. They're going to mark it at the 36-yard line. So for the Cardinals, they've got a long way to go. Two touchdowns, two extra points. And, yeah, I mean, two, two extra pointers, two-point conversions to even tie this game. Dane Harding. The low snap. Here's the handoff. And sweeping to the near side is Damon Vicker. And Vicker has a nice pickup. They're going to mark him out of bounds after a nine-yard pickup to the 45-yard line. And the Cardinals have to be very time conscious, too. Getting out of bounds, smart. Second down one. Play action, nice pass out here to Vicker, and Vicker is hit, but he's knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line for a first down. Let's watch this again, a nice play, a quick out. And Vicker does the job for the second consecutive time. Well, he didn't get out of bounds as it turns out. He just stopped the clock momentarily to move the chains. Harding on first and 10. Hands off Henderson. And Henderson pounds his way for about a five yard pickup. Mark it at the 40. Three yard line, second down five. Victor in motion. Harding with a play action, fires inside to Caballero, incomplete. Pass was a little low. Third down, five yards to go. One would assume though that with a quarterback back there with not a lot of experience that they're gonna give him some fairly easy things to do back there. Here's a little toss out, Victor complete to the 40. Spins to the close to a first down. They let's see where they're going to call it to the 40 yard line. So it'll be fourth and one. Obviously, they're going to go for it here. It was a good spot of the ball. Harding hands to Henderson and Henderson has the first down. He gets to the 38, he only had to get to the 39. And he gets the first down, Omar Perez making the stop. But they'll move the chains, 7.28 remaining now in this football game. Cardinals down by 16 points. Irving smelling a playoff spot. Cardinals would like to send Nimitz to the playoffs. They throw out again. It's complete, and Drummond is knocked out of bounds at about the 26-yard line. Let's move those chains again for a first down. So you don't need a rope thrown to get a, get a completed pass. It's a nice little toss, let the man fall under it. Make the reception. Drummond did a good job running after the catch. First and ten 
back, 7.03 left. Harding hands the ball, here's Victor, the ball carrier. Two yard pickup, 24 yard line. Second down, eight coming up. Harding looks it all over with 15 on the play clock. Sends Henderson into the slot. Rolls to the right, pressured, fires, man open, Webster catch. Webster shaking some players and gonna go for a touchdown. 24 yard touchdown pass. Harding to Webster. So obviously now the Cardinals must go for two. They first line up in the swinging gate. Now they drop back. They got a lot of bodies out there. Too many and they're gonna throw a flag. It's gonna be an illegal substitution. Come out, come out. Look, Lord, uh, MacArthur. Their first time out of the half. They called a timeout. So I don't know, maybe the flag was, the flag will be picked up. Well, what a bad time to waste a timeout though, Bob. Yep. I mean, you know you gotta run a two point play, so why are you messing around? Ah, uh, look at these young, lovely ladies enjoying a Friday night. The flower of their youth, our question of the week for you. Who's going to win next week's bi-district football matchup here at ISS? Coppell or probably the Irving Tigers, but just go to uh, the City of Irving's Facebook page and you can register your vote. Okay, Henderson in the backfield with Harding for the two-point conversion. Harding rolls, fires, and incomplete. So it's going to take two more scores at least for the Cardinals if they hope to get the Tigers. They trail by 10, 25 to 35. Let's look at the touchdown, Bob. Running, 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 tossing. Webster really makes a great play here. Breaks a tackle. And, of course, this is a very gifted, fast runner. And he's in for the touchdown. And the two-point attempt. Beautifully defended. Yeah, that was a nice defensive play down there. Try to go to Victor. So what do you think, Bob, that... Uh, Webster might keep this uh, this play. I would think so. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's something good to show the grandkids yeah. one day. Exactly. Look at me. <laughs> I was good, but now I'm old and fevered, and I can't even get up and run to the bathroom. By the way, I'd know how he feels. Onside kick, anybody? I think there's a fairly good chance of it. The Tigers have their all-state team up. All the guys used to handling the football. Only one player is deep. And that's Garcia, the quarterback. Yeah. Well, here comes Caballero. And he boots the ball away. It's going to go into the end zone for the touchback. You know, there's 6.15 left. There's a lot of time, so they didn't need to onside kick it. But the Tigers were ready just in case. And the... Cardinals said, you know, let's put you at the 25-yard line instead. I guess that's one way to look at it. The problem is that the Cardinal defense has not been able to stop the Irving offense. Well, you just have to hope they do it. That's the, that's the key to this right now. They have not done a very good job at stopping the uh, Tigers who are 
score probably up near 400 yards of total offense. I would think. I'm not sure, but here's a big play. Franklin up the middle for a first down to the 40-yard line. A 15-yard run by Tony Franklin. It's the Cardinal band starts playing Hey Baby, the old Bruce Chanel favorite from 50 years ago. Still sounds good. First and 10, 40-yard line. Franklin runs into Vincent, and Vincent says, no, you know what? You're not going to go any further. Second down. Ten, second and ten. Yeah. Second and ten from the 40. 527 remaining. Nick Carter comes into the ball game for Mac. He gives Abner Reyes a break. Franklin the ball carrier. Franklin gets good yardage to the 47 yard line. Where we will have a third down and right around three yards to go for the first down. Franklin has now run for 252 yards. I got a feeling he's going to get over 300 before this night is over. He is just on the verge of breaking one. Every time, it seems like. Here comes the blitz. Franklin, there he goes. Oh, man, that was a good tackle by Brown. But he gets the first down. And they'll move the sticks. Is there a flag down here? Nope, didn't see one. Well, the officials come over and talk things over. The Headlinesman. 87. Number 87 is now number 60. Number 60 for Irving. So, oh, okay. So Chase, Byron Chase changed his number from uh, 87 to 60 to become a off uh, right tackle now. So they're just reporting these things. He plays both positions, tight end and tackle. Good receiver, though. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. Franklin again. No, oh, this is Garcia. Everybody sucked in. Garcia gets nailed out of bounds, and a late flag comes up. I would think so. Every, uh, every piece of laundry from here to the local uh, laundromat has been thrown. Yeah, that's definitely hitting a uh, way out of bounds. So the half the distance to the goal to put the ball at about the five yard line. The uh, Garcia was knocked out at the 11 yard line. After the play, personal foul, late hit out of bounds. Defense number 11, half the distance to the goal, first down. Joe Horn telling you the obvious, but here's Garcia with a nice fake. And Garcia now over 100 yards rushing tonight. There you see Lawrence with the late hit. Garcia is left for 119 yards. 15 on the play clock. Garcia can take his time. Hands off Franklin up the middle. Look at that line moving. Touchdown Franklin. A run from six yards out. Uh, Darian Sargent. He gets up and hobbles off. So the Tigers are going to be in the playoffs. 
unless something incredible happens here. Whistles. Illegal procedure, Irving. Across the Tigers, five. Prior to the snap, false start, offense number 62. Five yard penalty, we'll still do the try. Although this ball's under the head of no big whoop, it's only five yards. Tigers looking to put their 42nd point on the board. And Soriano does it. 42 to 25. Let's watch this touchdown run. And that time Franklin backed into the end zone. Well, he backed someone yeah. else in too. Look at him hit and then just power his way forward. He's what up over, over 260 yards rushing today. Well, let's see, 66. He's um, 265. There you go. Boy, the Tiger running game has been marvelous tonight. Smoke bombs going off now on the Irving sidelines. And the Irving stands here. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe bags of flour or something like that. Some stuff going on there in the Irving uh, stands. We got Soriano to kick the ball off. It's very high. It's end over end, and it's going to be Webster from the 25. And gets uh, out to the 31 the hard way. A lot of pushing and shoving down there. Inner city ball game, last game of the year. And some of the Mac players, you know, not happy about the way this has ended up. So are they going to tack? Yep, they're going to tack on a first and five. Offsides. Five yard penalty. Five yard pill to be tacked on to the end of the run. First down. So the Cardinals they have Johnson in the backfield. Harding on first down gets the rush, gets the whack, and takes the turf. Finds it's not an easy ball game. Perla making the sack. A loss of two, second down, 12 yards to go. <laughs> 13 on the play clock. Taking a long time to get this away. Eight on the play clock. Harding to throw, he does to the near side. Here's Jackson or Johnson coming out of the backfield. Picks up five yards. And a late flag comes out. Now Kobe Blakely comes over to talk to the referee. Not real happy, hands on hips. And 
Cardinal players trying to keep Blakely in the ball game. Personal foul. Offense, number 70. 15-yard penalty. Replay the down. All right, so the penalty against Mack puts it back to the 24-yard line. Second down, 22 yards to go. Harding, that'll be uh, intentional grounding. No one was even close to the ball. Didn't go even the, the 10 yards. Didn't even come close to getting back to the line of scrimmage. Intentional grounding. Number so nine, cost offense. Even more. The ball will be placed at the spot of the, spot of the down. Going the wrong way, Bob. Loss of down. Let's see where. Third down. So we'll put the ball at the 17 yard line. Third down, 29 yards to go. Tiger defensive lineman can just tee off right now. Harding running for his life. Throws that one away, but Johnson was in the vicinity, so it'll bring up fourth down. And Mack is evidently going to punt the football. I really don't think Brian Basil has many third and 29 plays up his sleeve. Intentional ground. Warlock comes out. Offense, number nine. Intentional ground. Ball be placed at the spot of foul. Through, Fourth down. Yellow. Spot of the ball, you know, and and I think that's a bad call because I thought Johnson was in the vicinity of that of that pass. So they'll put the ball on the five yard line. Caballero is going to be up against the back of the end zone when he does punt the football. I think this whole thing started at the 36 yard line of Mac. Well, they played a good football game tonight, but the uh, but the fourth quarter here has not been kind. At least the last uh, two possessions. No rush. Ball goes out. Tigers have football at the 35 yard line. The Irving Tigers will be in the playoffs next week against the Coppell Cowboys right here at Irving School Stadium. We want to come out and have some fun. That should be a good one. First time they're, first time ever they're going to play a playoff game. One of the Irving schools that is here at Irving School Stadium. We're kind of happy. We like coming here. Better than going to Coppell. <laughs> going through that traffic at rush hour? No, thank you. Five on the play clock. Garcia hands off Franklin, breaks it outside. Tony is going to get inside the 10 to about the eight yard line. Does that put him over 300 tonight? Well, that gives him another 27, and let's just figure out here. He's at 292. Oh, come on. <coughs> and he can't get it now unless they lose yardage. 
Well, now he can. There you go. Put it back at the 10 yard line. Now he has a chance. Well, no, he lost those two yards. So even with that, he can't do it. Had Garcia carried and gotten back to the 10, Franklin could have uh, could have done it. Second down and goal from the 10 yard line. He can do it. He had 292. Now he's got 290. 10 gives you 300. Okay. I think he planned it this way. Franklin, there you go. There's your 10 yards. Is that a perfect three? And there is no such thing as an imperfect three, <laughs> is it? Five touchdowns tonight for Antonio Franklin. 300 yards rushing. And I don't care how you place it, that's a good night. And there you have it. Let's watch it again here, the touchdown run. There he goes. The time has come. Thank you, Willie. Well, for those of you who remember the old days of Don Meredith on Monday Night Football, that's sweet music. Old Don used to sing Willie every time he thought the ball game was decided. Actually, in reality, this game was decided quite a bit ago. But you know what? It's been a fun ball game to watch. The, the, the Cardinals made it exciting. But uh, they just didn't have uh, the defense really to be able to, the Cardinal offensive line. And then Tony Franklin just doing a great job here tonight. Good way for the Tigers to end up the regular season with a winning record. Boot the ball down the middle. And on the receiving end of this is Haygood. Late flags come out, you know. Some uh, sour feelings. They will mark. I know there will be unsportsmen like on both teams or what, but. I assume the Cardinals are just going to run the ball a couple of times and get this game over with now. Let's hear the penalty. Unsportsmanlike like conduct for the kicking team number 21. 15-yard penalty. All right, First 15 down. more yards. Bob Berry will be go down to the field and talk with Aaron Delatore. Maybe be able to get Tony Franklin too. We'll see. He's had a marvelous season. I think the best player of the year in the teams. Harding, they're going to throw out to Johnson. Johnson is going to take the ball to the 50-yard line with a pickup of five, four yards. And now they want a timeout. Timeout. Interesting call. Their second time out of the half. Trailing by 24 points with 25 seconds left. Is it possible to get a minute, a point a minute? Again, the question of the week, uh, who's going to win 
between Irving and Coppell next week here at Irving School Stadium. Go on uh, Facebook, the City of Irving page, and you can look it up. Still trying to get all this social media and all this internet stuff down. You, know, you can watch these games on YouTube as well. I think that won't. This game won't be ready though for another two weeks on YouTube. That's kind of the way it usually works. For those of you who don't have the cable, second down and six. Harding will toss out again. Complete. So they took a timeout for that play, huh? Yeah. When a team is down by about 15 points, eight seconds to go, and they call the timeout. Yeah. And you wonder, what are they talking about? Uh. in motion Harding smacked as he throws the football and it is incomplete with 14 seconds left fourth down six and Harding got a uh, rude introduction to varsity football right there with that hit he was really smacked down he's taken his lumps tonight he's shown he's shown a couple of good things yes here he unloads the football, and just not far enough. Of course, under tremendous pressure. Fourth down. Unless he gets six, this will be the final play, offensive play at least for the Cardinals. Kane rolls, fires, it's incomplete, the match your ball game. Cardinals will have to take one, or the Tigers will have to take one knee, and that'll be it. It's been a wild one here at Irving School Stadium. There's only a second time in the last 10 years that Irving's been able to beat these Cardinals and both times they went in the playoffs they're going to do it tonight did it in 08 as well you gotta remember Jacoby Bradley though the quarterback there he was a good one Aaron Delatore knows he has a big battle for himself next week but he'll take the time out and enjoy this one Garcia will take the knee Now a flag comes out because we took too much time. Delay, so delay. Okay. Five yard penalty. Awesome. Five yards. Still first down. Go ahead, Bob. Make some scratches on the shoot. There you go. All right. Now we're ready. Garcia. There's the snap. There's the knee. And as you ball game. Irving Tigers, you are in the playoffs. Congratulations. A good job. Tigers go out and win it by a score of 49 to 25. We'll be back with highlights and interviews right after this. Cardinals in the playoffs with win 42 to 25, and in our opinion, this was the play of the game. Second quarter of action, Irving at this point was leading by a score of 20 to 13, and Franklin with the big night, five touchdowns tonight, right up the middle. He goes 52 yards for the score, and Irving wins it 42 to 25. Big, big night. We'll show you all the highlights. 
as let's go down to the field right now where Bob Berry has the head coach, Aaron De La Torre. Bob? This is something that you work very hard for, obviously. Your thoughts about getting in the playoffs? You know, I'm just happy for our uh, community. You know, one way or another, an Irving team was getting in for that fourth slot. It came down that way last year. Um, you know, hats off to MacArthur. They played great football tonight. You know, they're down there starting quarterback. But, you know, it's just like the town. We're t full of blue-collar people, and, and they played a heck of a game. You know, our kids played a great game tonight. I thought you did something that was really very nice. It speaks well for you. When the game was over, you went over and talked to Austin Logan, their quarterback who was out and was in a wheelchair. What would you tell him? I just told him keep his head up. You know, I, I've had my ACL torn. I, I've played a whole season with the torn ACL. It's not fun. It hurts. Uh, it, it's excruciating pain. And I know the kid went out and tried. And I have total respect for people that try to play when they're hurt. Um, you know, also, you know, he's still a junior. He's got another year to come back and to come back strong. I told him take it easy on us next year, too. What do you do now for this week preparing for the Cowboys? You know, they're one of the best teams in the state, one of the best one in the nation. The great thing is it's a new season. Um, you know, high school playoffs are kind of funny. Anything can happen. We just need to come out and play a great game and execute. Talk about a great game. Franklin ran for yeah. 300 yards. We, we said it in the, uh, believe it or not, we were talking about it, and uh, me and Coach Allen, I said, boy, it would be nice for him to finally pop 300 yards. Uh, he's had the capability all year, and I'm just very proud and happy for him because he's so durable. He's a little bitty old guy, and, and you would never think he's as strong as he is and as fast as he is. I'm just very proud of him. Everything that he's been able to overcome and, and to come back from. He had a serious injury this past summer in a car wreck, and uh, it didn't keep him from playing. And uh, I'm proud of him for coming out and, and representing well. Thank you very much for your time, Coach, and congratulations. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. See you. Okay, now let's go back to Lance Brown. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Bob. Uh, obviously a happy man, as well he should be. His team played very well. They are in the playoffs. They have a winning record this year, and that's uh, something they haven't had for a while. So congratulations to the Tigers. Let's uh, see sh some of the second-half highlights to show you here is Henderson. You know, the Cardinals kept bouncing back. Henderson had a nice night with 80 yards rushing for a touchdown there. But then Garcia rolls out, runs in 16 yards to put the Tigers up by two touchdowns at that point. Then after a field goal, here's a great play as Harding throws to Webster. This is really an outstanding play by Webster. That cut it to 10 points, but then Franklin scores two more touchdowns. And that's all she wrote. The Tigers come away big winners tonight. And, you know, Franklin gets a lot of credit, and he's had a great night. But the offensive line for Irving did a marvelous job tonight because uh, Garcia had a heck of a lot of, to do with that, too, in terms of his rushing. They rushed for 419 yards, and they haven't had that in quite a long time. Uh, 478 yards overall. Uh, the Tigers really dominate this football game. Uh, actually, we got things kind of turned around, but nevertheless, uh, you know what happened. Tigers win it, 42-35, to 35, and Jim Bennett gets the game ball. Not a boy, Jim. <laughs> so congratulations to the Tigers. They are in the playoffs for the first time in a long time, and we'll have you next week right here on ICTN when the Tigers play the Coppell Cowboys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I sure did. For my broadcast partner, Bob Berry, and our entire crew led by our producer and director, Scott Snyder, my name's Lance Brown. We thank you so much for watching, and good night from Irving School Stadium. Game of the Week has been brought to you in part by Gerald Stavely Dry Cleaning.